Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of EETV, where I strive to bring you everything in entertainment. Those of you, like myself, that are Power Ranger fans, but not quite feeling the 30th anniversary upcoming next month by Netflix, we have an alternative for you. Amy Jo Johnson, the actor who played Kimberly Hart on the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, is releasing a new comic book series written by her and will be illustrated by artist Matt Hodson. It will be released by Bloom Studios. Now, it'll be entitled Power Rangers, a 30th anniversary comic book celebration. It will be a collection of deluxe hardcovers collecting stories spanning from the three decades of the franchise and will feature different teams as well as different seasons. Now, this is not the first time that we've seen Power Ranger comics from Bloom Studios. Those of you who are comic book fans like myself are very much immersed in the world that Boom Studios has created for the Power Rangers. Now specifically, let's get into more of this and why this is good. This is good because not everybody, like I said before in the intro, is not feeling the 30th anniversary special. There are many people who don't want to see it because Jason David Frank has no involvement in it and also because uh, he wasn't treated very well by the studio. So a lot of people are not necessarily going to watch the 30th anniversary special. And this is nice to have this just in case that you're not into the new continuity of the, the special. Then you'll have an alternative by being able to have the comic book. Now, on another good note, just think of all the possible covers that could come out because of this. Now, in the article, it said that there will be a collection of deluxe hard covers. So Right away, my brain is thinking you could get possibly hard covers with just focusing on the power coins. You could get hard covers focusing on the weapons, the Zords, the cast that played the Power Rangers, and they could relieve, um, relive some of the, the iconic scenes that we have been used to over the years. And since Amy Jo Johnson is the one writing this book, the one thing that comes to my mind is the scene where she's using her morpher and transforming into the pink power ranger on the first power rangers movie when she holds the morpher out towards the camera and then the coin grows bigger and then she you'll see her in the pink ranger suit that is definitely i, I think that should definitely be a hard cover and not just any old hard cover but you know the one when you get a little bit of rubber on it and you can feel the different textures i think it should be that i mean they could go with a bunch of and, and another thing that came to my mind you could have focused on the morpher on the outside of the cover and there's a hole in the center of the cover and then you get the power coin that's inside and the power coin inside is a real power coin that you could take out if you want to now i know something of that nature will cost more money but that's a definitely collector's item that uh, Power Ranger fans like myself would pay top dollar for. Something you can get a focus like that and actually get a 30th anniversary power coin that comes with it that you can take in and out the book. That, that's just great. I mean, my mind is flowing with this. So I can just imagine what the artists that are more talented than myself was what could come up with as far as these covers. And I can't wait till they not necessarily release a synopsis for the story, but I would like that as well too. But I would also like to see just some, not all, but just some of the covers that they came up with so we can decide which ones we want right away. Now, another thing I like to focus on is the actual story. Like I said, Boom Studios will be uh, in the, uh, releasing this comic book with Amy Jo Johnson writing it and Matt Hodson, it will be the artist. We can, Now, just imagine this. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this story is because Amy Jo Johnson was with this show for a long time. I think she left the show in 1995. Now, we can get some unanswered questions that Boom Studios not necessarily focused on. Now, I know Boom Studios had focused on comics where Kimberly Hart is leading her own team, and that's beyond the grid. And then uh, uh, there was another one, um, Power Rangers, Ranger Slayer number one, that one shot, that was good as well. Now, if you think of those stories, now think of where else they could take it that's not necessarily collect connected to those two comics. Now just imagine, it would be interesting to see where uh, Amy Jo Johnson takes the character of Kimberly Hart. You know, uh, you know, where are the other teams she met with first? Like, like, did she run into SPD first? Or, you know, the, just being Kimberly Hart? Or did she run into 
uh, the Turbo Power Rangers. That's after TJ was the leader of the team. Like, who did she meet over the years being a former Ranger? Who did she assist and help with? What kind of Kimberly Hart are we going to be introduced to in this comic book series? Is it going to be Kimberly Hart post college? Or are we going to have a Kimberly Hart that's finished college and she's, you know, working her full time job? Or she's still associated with gymnastics? And how does she get back into the world of Power Rangers? Is she selected by someone to help out on the mission like they did with the Omega Rangers? Or is, is, or maybe is she helping out someone who had possibly had a possibility to time travel and she meets time force pink and does it go does it go that way i'm, I'm just throwing different things out there based on the continuity of the comic books that i read and all the years that i watched the show i'm just throwing things out there that, are we going to get an eye to uh an all pink uh ranger team teaming up to take out a foe i mean i'm just throwing ideas out there but it's really interesting to see this because Amy Jo Johnson stated that this will be a love letter to the Power Ranger fans. So you can rest assured that this will be good. And like I said before, not everybody is digging the anniversary special. So this is something to have for the fans who have become a little bit jaded because of the actor's poor treatment in the past and you still want to be able to read or you know watch Power Ranger related material and this is a way to do it without having to be caught up in all of the red tape. So I personally am excited about this and I know I'm a smaller channel but if Boom Studios happens to hear this or someone associated with Boom Studios happens to hear this, please, I, I'm, I'm because I just came up with this just now when I'm recording this video. Please, you gotta come up with a deluxe hardcover that has the morpher on the front and it's a hole cut out in here and you can see a power coin inside of there and it's a power coin that's inside of the case and you have the option of being able to take out that power coin and lead it in there. Look, like, I would pay top dollar for that, I'm telling you right now. And that's just something I just came up with on the fly. I mean, that is that is great that they are doing this and we get deluxe hard covers and we get to see those things. And another thing that came to me now, are are they going to continue with some of the continuity that was set before? I mean, is this Kimberly Hart? Is she going to be the same Kimberly Hart that was captured in the Turbo Power Rangers movie and then she became brainwashed and then she was able to be saved? Is, is that the same Kimberly Hart are we getting? Are, are they throwing in the movie continuity? Or are we still staying towards what happened in the Mighty Morphin series and then what happened afterwards? I mean, it'll be interesting to see where they're going to take this. And I, for one, am excited because they said they will be highlighting different teams also, they'll be uh, highlighting different things that happen during the, the show, show, too. So not only do we get to see some of our other favorite Ranger teams in action all over again, we also get to see all of the different scenes that have already passed and that we enjoyed. Like when Tommy lost his powers and then was able to uh, get them back for a brief period. I mean, we might get to relive that again. Uh, we, we get to see uh, the transformation of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers into the Zero Rangers. I mean, it's interesting to see, see where they're going to take this and who's going to be the star of it. I think it'd be nice if we get different views and perspectives from all the different ranges. And who knows if this is successful and it was successful because it raised, if I'm not mistaken, about over $25,000 in just 24 hours. Now, if this is successful... Maybe we can get former cast members of Mighty Morphin like Walter Jones or, or David Yost or Catherine Sutherland or Steve Cardenas or Karan Ashley or Johnny Young Bosch to throw in some things as well for all the characters they played. I mean, I'm looking forward to this and I can't see where they're going to take this next. Well, once again, thank you for joining me. Check out Boom Studios website. If you want to get more information on this and i think this will be something that the, uh, all of the pal ranger fandom can get behind and will enjoy thank you very much i'll see you in the next one may the power protect you everyone take care